Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up your AMD graphics card, whether it is your first time or you guys are trying to improve its performance for gaming. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video because we are going to go through every single setting to ensure that you are getting the best output possible. Without wasting up any more time, let's dive straight into the video. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you are here, the very first thing that you need to do is head down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar is an overlay service and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC and this will help you to boost your FPS as well. Right after that, click on the graphic settings over here and then you wanna have to ensure that optimizations for windowed games are turned on because this is going to reduce input latency by using advanced features in games which utilizes your hardware acceleration then click on the advanced graphic settings and then for the default high performance gpu you want to have to select your amd radeon graphic card if you have that on your pc do not go with radeon graphics go with the dedicated graphic card unit and then simply select that now every time your application wants to utilize your graphic card it will prefer your dedicated hardware over your software based graphics once that is done i would recommend you guys to add a desktop app and add all of your gpu consuming applications right over here some of these applications might include your games editing software or any productivity software which you think that utilizes your graphic card once all of that is done you can simply close your settings Next step is heading over to your browser and then look for AMD drivers. Just do a simple Google search and then you'll find drivers in support page for processor and graphics by AMD. Simply click on that and you will be on this page. What you guys have to do is simply select download windows drivers and it will automatically detect and install all driver updates. Otherwise, what you guys can do is simply select graphics over here. Choose your graphic card series. For me, it is Radeon RX in the 6000 series and it is 66. 600 XT right over here. Click on the submit button and it will give you Windows 11 version. If you guys have Windows 11, click on that and download the auto detect and install. Or you guys can download the AMD software that is Adrenaline Edition. You guys can simply click on the download button over here and install it on your PC. Once you have installed it, simply right click on any empty area of your desktop, click on show more options and then click on AMD software Adrenaline Edition. If that was your first time installing the entire application, high chances are you might have already updated your graphic card drivers to the latest version but if you guys already have this installed what you guys have to do is simply click on this button that is driver and software come to the page where the driver software version is showing and simply look for the status if it says up to date you guys are good to go but if it's not download the latest update and that should be it now once all of that is done head over to the gaming section over here and in the games part you do not have to do anything simply go over to the graphic settings and over here select custom then ensure that you have selected your gpu which is your primary graphic card it should not be your integrated graphics but your primary graphic card once you find it simply come down and select radeon anti-lag you wanna have to click on enable radeon boost eye chill frame sharpening enhanced sync all of them should be turned off there is a new option for latest amd graphics card which is fluid motion frames 2.1 and this will utilize frame generation so if you guys use frame gen in your games i would recommend you guys to turn it on but do not turn it on from the software turn it on within the games since many games are fps based such as valorant fortnite and frame generation on would lead to input latency you do not want that so keep it off right over here scroll a bit down and you'll find anti-aliasing what you guys have to do is click on use application settings and then anisotropic filtering should be enabled af level over here is 2 4 8 and 16 that is provided by your pc now af is actually very useful in the games but it is heavily graphic card dependent and if your pc cannot handle it keep it 2x but if you guys have a super powerful graphic card you can go with 8x or 16x because it is dirt cheap for texture filtering quality go with performance and surface format optimization should be turned off tessellation mode i would always recommend you guys to go with amd optimized and then open gl triple buffering should be turned off 10-bit pixel format if your graphic card and your display supports it you guys can enable that and once that is done head over to the record and stream section then head over to the settings section 
Scroll a bit down and you'll find recording settings. Record desktop, show indicator and borderless region capture. All of them should be turned off. Once that is done, head over to the performance tab and then go over to tuning. Scroll a bit down until you find your graphic card and you will find the tuning control. You have a lot of options over here but we are not gonna be dropping into any of these options because it is a topic of another video. Simply locate AMD Smart Access Memory and then make sure that this is enabled. If this option is not showing for you, you have to head over to your BIOS and enable resizable bar. After that, go over to the settings gear and then you'll find system settings. What you guys have to do over here is disable issue detection. Issue detection is actually running a constant service in the background which finds problems with your graphic card. In most cases, that service is really useless because your graphic card do not run into error every now and then. And its only function is to send a crash report to the AMD servers. It's not really helpful and disabling that will help you to free up a single resource of your PC. After that, head over to the display settings and if you have more than one display, you guys can see it like that. What you guys have to do over here is for the color depth, if your PC allows up to 10 BPC, really good, you guys can go with 10 BPC color depth. For display color enhancements, you guys can keep it disabled. For custom color, I would recommend you guys to keep it on. Scroll a bit down until you find saturation and by default, it would be on 100. What you guys can do is simply set it to 140 and what this will do is make your system's color more vibrant and help you to enhance the visibility in the games. After that, head over to the overrides and then click on read and accept EULA. Click on I accept. And now you guys will see HDCP support over here. What you guys have to do is simply disable that. Click on proceed and that should be it. Then head over to the audio and video settings and then you'll find a video profile. Click on enhanced over here. Then head over to the preferences tab and then in-game overlay should be turned off, web browser should be turned off, advertisements, toast notifications and tutorials should be turned off, animations and effects should be turned off. And once all of that is done, you have now applied the best settings for your AMD Radeon software. Now what you guys can do is simply minimize that. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, packet loss and ping issues in your games using no ping. You guys can download this software for 7 days free from the link in the description below. Once you open it up, it should look like this and it offers you over 1000 games to choose from. Simply locate any game that you play very frequently. For me, it would be Fortnite, so simply select your game, click on choose manual server and choose the nearest server to you. For me, it is in the Middle Eastern region and it will show you the nearest regions with the lowest amount of ping. Simply select the server and then click on optimize this game and this will help you to one click connect your internet straight to the game servers without any hindrance and reduce all kind of packet loss, ping issues, performance issues and a lot of other stuffs. The best part about no ping is the boost FPS section right over here where it offers you a lot of settings which you guys can turn on to optimize the performance of your PC. Start with enable home gaming mode, disable chrome telemetry, disable Cortana, Edge Telemetry, Disable Dynamic Ticks, Disable Firefox Telemetry, Disable Windows Game Bar, Disable Hibernation, and the most important one is Disable Power Saving Features. This will also help you to get rid of a ton of input latency. Enable High Performance Mode and that should be it. Now you guys can have improved FPS as well as fixed and stable internet connection in your game. I personally use Noping for myself and I have seen drastic improvements and I would recommend you guys to go check out Noping for free from the link in the description below for yourself. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Over here select your local disk C and then click on the create button. Name it something that you can remember from. I'll simply name it Radeon. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step and the final step is the AMD Radeon optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in 5 simple folders over here and let us start with the first one that is CMD latency tweaks in which I have left disable memory compression and latency tweaks over here. You guys can edit it in notepad to see exactly what are the things that these files are going to change on your PC. Right click and run it as administrator for both of them and it will help you to disable memory compression which is an absolutely useless service running in the background. And second one is latency tweaks which helps you to disable dynamic tick, high precision event timer and synthetic timers which are proven to be 
highly input latency effectors. Second folder over here is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I currently have 16 GB RAM installed on my PC so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you can apply the one from this list. Once again I have also left a reset to default registry over here just in case that doesn't work out for you. Third one is AMD GPU optimization in which I have left these three very important registry files. First one is disable GPU energy driver. Simply right click on it as administrator. Second one is disable GPU power throttling and third one is prioritize AMD GPU. All of them will help you to set up the correct priorities for your graphic card and the DWORD values as well and disable power saving features so your GPU can perform better. Once all of that is applied, you guys can go back. The fourth one is Windows optimization tweaks in which I have left these three files. Two of them are DVR and third one is increased power efficiency. I'd recommend you guys to run every single one of them and once that is done, last one is clean temporary files in which I have left local temporary files files. Once you open it up, press Ctrl and A all together and then press Shift and Delete on your keyboard. This will ask you to permanently delete these items. Simply press Enter and it will delete every single one of them. Note that some files cannot be deleted because they are currently in use, so select this option and then click on Skip. Once all of that is done, you'll be left with only those files which are in use and you'll be successfully cleaning all temporary files off of your PC. Once that is done, simply close it and now you are good to go. What you guys have to do after all of that is head over to your AMD software once again, then into gaming section and then in graphics. Scroll all the way down and you'll find reset shader cache. Want to click on perform reset over here, click on OK. And once that is done, you have to restart your PC once and you guys will now unlock ultimate performance and better FPS in your games. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.